Hello, Kim Humphreys. This is Rich Rosenblum, your Garrison Fitness Coordinator. I'm back again to talk about lower body strength. Now, when you're training your lower body, you can split it up into two categories. One, bilateral exercises. The both, of, both of your feet are plant, firmly planted on the ground, parallel to each other, like a back squat, a front squat, a body weight squat, all examples of, of bilateral exercises. Unilateral exercises, which is what we're going over today, are when you're in a staggered position. Now, staggered position exercises are great for helping improve the strength from your dominant leg and your less dominant leg, and they're also more sport specific. Most sports are done on, in a staggered position rather than in a bilateral position. So, I'm joined today by Sergeant Greg Blackman. He's gonna demonstrate a progression for unilateral strength training exercises. The first movement is a prisoner split squat. And in this position, Greg's gonna be nice and tall. His back heels up in the air, front foot is planted, a nice wide stance, arms back, head pushed back a little bit, nice neutral spine. And this position is gonna keep stay in alignment, one line from the back of his head to his tailbone. He's gonna drop down, tap the ground, and fire it back up. You notice he doesn't lean forward, he stays nice and tall the entire time. Let's see it again. And one more time, stay nice and tall. All right, excellent job. The next progression, phase two, is to do this movement with weight. So we call this a goblet split squat. Pulling that dumbbell just like it's a big goblet. Two points of contact and same position. We're going to go down slow, tap, and fire it back up. Down slow, fire it back up. On the way up, make sure you turn on your glute, squeeze your quads on the way up. Down slow one more time, and fire it back up. Good, and let's relax. The last progression, we call this a plyometric exercise. You're jumping, you're leaving the ground. The point of the plyometric exercise is to put as much force into the ground as possible. This exercise is shown to improve your jumping height. Jumping height. So Greg will start down on the ground for our split jump. And you notice in this position, nice tall posture. Head is in line with the rest of his body. One line from the back of his head to the back of his kneecap. When I say up, Greg's gonna jump, land quietly, tap the ground. And jump, and land quiet, and up. And down quiet. Now let's do two quick, two quick succession. Jump, land, jump, land. Go, one, there you go. Jump, good, and relax. Good, excellent job. You notice he was a little unstable when he was doing the landing, but still pretty good. Reps for these exercises, you wanna make sure you're doing the same amount on one leg versus the same amount on the other leg. For size, keep your volume high, eight to 12 reps. For power and for jumping height, keep your reps low, but your weight high. If you have any other questions about these exercises, come by the Fitness Annex. Feel free to ask any questions about exercise techniques.